What's up my people? So we're out here chilling um, at probably one of our favorite places in the Knoxville spot. area. It's actually where we officially became like boyfriend girlfriend. I'll show you. We're sitting in the back of the car because this year we tried to start like listening to audiobooks. Mm -hmm listening because we're not huge book <laughs> yeah that's so true so it's been kind of like one of our goals this year is mm -hmm. to listen to one and we just well we're almost done reading this one called the five love languages mm -hmm. it's been so it good. really has been i'm good. not even kidding and so we're like hey we should pop on here and tell them about it so that's mm -hmm. what we've been doing so we're sitting in our pretty spot i feel like car dates have been our thing carlin is a sucker for car dates and it's worked out well because with COVID and everything, you know, you don't get to go to a ton of places. So it's, it's been really I don't know. Nice. There's something about the vibe. It's just romantic and sweet. So it's kind of like a picnic, but without the food. We're just kind of chilling right now. Just yeah, relaxing. we do all kinds of car dates. We eat in the car. We sit in the back in the trunk. And Layla has the perfect <laughs> spot to play with her toys. And we pick pretty places. And then we also, like, go just driving around looking at houses. Because that's yeah, what we've we been do like into to lately. Anyways, I say all of that to say... We're gonna let them in on our little uh, yeah. Let's let them in on our little we're deals doing. we've been doing this year. You tell. Them. Okay, so we don't do this every week, so don't think we've got it all together. Since the start of the year, we've tried to like at least every single month. Yeah. Do this. We will pick something. Um, we'll kind of talk with each other, and we'll say different things we think the other one could work on to help just you know help our marriage, help our lives. Maybe things that would make us feel more loved or whatnot. So this book is really kind of taking that a step further for us because. It's talking about, you know, the five love languages. If you don't know what the five love languages is, basically it talks about saying the different ones are like words of affirmation, quality time, acts of service, touch, and I can't remember number five. We don't remember the fifth one, so neither but one of us must have that one because we only remember the ones that apply to us, I guess. <laughs> so read the book. That's your little secret. Go find out the fifth one. <laughs> it is. It's so um, good. Carlin says she's like all of them. I'm at least three of them. <laughs> so <laughs> I haven't fully decided. I'm either quality time, words of affirmation, or touch. Yeah. I go back and forth which one I am. But Evan is definitely. I'm words definitely. Of yeah, I love to feel encouraged from her. Our marriage is not perfect. A lot of times, no. like when you watch YouTube, it's like, oh, 10 minutes or Instagram and little squares you see. We've only been married like a little over a year. And yeah. of course, we still have problems. We still have arguments. And we have to work through that and stuff. And that's one of the things we want to let you guys real. know. Like, we're not perfect. We're normal just like everybody else. And there's all these things we can work on. And if there's any way we can help you guys work on it as well, then that's awesome. We're going to focus on trying to figure out each other's love language. I'm going to work on just giving Evan words of affirmation and like his character and just to build like him that. up because that's what makes him feel loved and then Evan's gonna work on all five for me I guess so I, so my week is probably gonna consist of doing different things to try and figure out what her main love language is well he's so we'll already see. so perfect so whatever it's, it's hard for me to think back and be that's like which true. one makes me feel the most love because you already make me feel so loved whatever you're wrong anyways no one's perfect and that's okay we can all have room to grow. That's just the gospel truth. So, cheers to this week's vlog. And I hope you guys are having a great Saturday. Hey, hey, hey. It's Pat Albert. <laughs> What's up? That's weird. Okay, it's been about a day since we filmed what you just saw. I don't know, I was sitting at home, I was about to start editing for our upcoming vlog, and I was like, you know what? I'm already home from work, showered everything, and Carlin's been working at boutique all day. So I was like, you know what I should do? I should capitalize on this. You know what, I'm gonna try and actually do some things around the house. Just some things that I don't always do. Some of you will be like, Look at this guy, he's trying to act like uh, he's the perfect husband or something. And that's not true, you'll be able to see that when uh, Carlin's face is like shocked when she walks in, which is what I'm going for. And uh, we'll see if that's Carlin's love language. I'm, I'm still learning her, guys. I think all of us guys learn our wives like forever. We'll find out like if maybe, uh, what would that be, works or something? What's the love language again? Something like that. We'll see if that's her love language.
So right now I'm gonna sweep and mop a little bit. Doesn't even really need it, but I'm kinda trying to get brownie points over this week, so. You know what, fellas? You know what's wrong with us? Let me show you. Most of us don't even understand. This is how you sweep, ready? You can go back the other way. You see, what most of us think, I'm about to start preaching. What most of us think, including me in my marriage life at one point in time, most of us think we sweep like this. Bye babe, love you. Hey honey, I'm home. Wow, the house magically got swept. Give me a break, guys. Just trying to figure out your love languages. If you don't like this, then I'll probably never do it again. <laughs> Just kidding. We had that talk, remember? Oh, your money? <laughs> Girls shouldn't be the only one doing it. Say hi. Whoa, did you miss daddy today? <laughs> you always miss daddy, you? She just woke up, so she's really hot. Wow, Evan, you are the bomb.com. Wow, you're really up in it and not this week. Maybe we should, like, give ourselves a reward, man. You're going all out. Okay, what do you mean? I don't know, I think we should do something. Like have an like incentive? Re yeah, like a reward. If we're gonna try and do really like good for each other? Like let's make this fun. Okay. I'm just really glad we started doing this year because I feel like it's been so <laughs> good and I don't think you should ever stop working on your marriage. Yeah. So, well, I wanna hear more about up. this incentive. We should both get something like. Like yes. something you wanna I already know go what I do? Want. What? We haven't done this since Layla Bug was born. Chuck E. Cheese? No, we n I've never been to Chuck E. Cheese. I know, life. it was a joke. I I've love Chuck E. Cheese. There. No, I think if I do good, we should get a one night stay in a hotel. Then what do I want? I know what you want. He's going to say, go golfing. I he have been getting been into golfing, golfing lately, week. but normally it's been going with my pastor. So how about if I win, you take me golfing? Deal. And you golf with me on some of the holes. You try it. I'm not a golfer. Okay, fine. Hello. Hey. Hi. Huh? That sounded like you said hi. I think she just said hi. Mom's in here being the best wife and making daddy breakfast for in the morning at work. What's up, vlog family? Oh, so I'm farting your eggs. Huh? It's okay. You distracted me. Evan is back on his keto diet. He is eating basically the same thing every morning, so. Every single night, I make him salsa and eggs. I guess you could say this is like our nightly routine. We're about to put Layla to bed. Carlin's making me eggs. She doesn't do it all the time because I don't want to sound like a bad husband, but she does Why? do it I most do of the so. time. <laughs> That's okay. I love doing it. She's the sweetest. She really is. It's like me helping you, you to help us. That's a good way to look at it. <laughs> Supper time. You get it everywhere. Layla. Is that delicious? That's that scaring you. Say, Stop scaring me, Dad. <laughs> Mom's getting it all over your nose. But see, the good thing is, if she snorts some of that up, then like in the middle of the night, if she like sneezes or something, she's got a snack for later. So that's smart. Smart, Layla. That's just smart. disgusting, Evan. She smiles. <gasps> she did smile. Layla, is that your plan? Are you going to do that? No. Are you serious? <laughs> <laughs> That's disgusting! Don't do that. Say, so I'm getting in bed late tonight. Oh no! Yeah, we had church tonight, so she's getting to bed a little late. Right, Layla? Woo! Oh, well, hey, you wanna go read your book? If you huh? let mom get you in your outfit, we can go read our book. This one, Itsy Bitsy Spider. Down came the rain. <gasps> to right above the rain! The end. Say goodnight, Itsy Bitsy Spider. Mwah. Let's pray. Dear Jesus, we thank you for this day and your many blessings, Lord. We pray you'll keep Layla safe tonight. Help her to get a good night's rest and help her with her breathing and everything. Help there be no complications and her to be okay. Keep us all safe. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. Oh, you know, you know what? what comes next. <laughs> okay, that is terrible. That is the saddest thing I've ever seen. All right, come on, we have to go night-night, okay? We love you. We love you. All right, you guys, so Layla's in there trying to go to sleep, and we're about to have our devotions, get ready for bed, and head to bed. 
So I guess that's about all we got for you this time, right? Yeah, you guys are the best. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again the same time next week.